Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having an amazing day. I'm kind of losing my voice, so bear with me in this video. Um, in today's video, we have One UI 6 Beta installed here on the S23 Ultra, and we're going to be taking a look at all the new features of One UI 6 and compare them to what we have on the Z Fold 5, which is the latest stable version of One UI. This is One UI 5.1.1. We're also going to take a look at a bug that may be a showstopper for you, especially if you're a fan of the S Pen. So currently the One UI 6 Beta is only available for S23 devices. That's likely to change soon. But if you have an S23 like I have the Ultra here and you want to give it a try, just open up the Galaxy Store and look for the Samsung Members app. And then you'll see this banner here on your screen, the bottom one, to enroll in the One UI 6 Beta. And then basically when you're done, you're going to come back into your settings, go to Software Update, and then download and install. And what it'll do is it'll recognize that you enrolled in the One UI 6 beta, and it's gonna prompt you for the install of One UI 6. Just follow this installation here. It takes about 20 minutes or so. Your phone's gonna get really warm when it's done, and it'll restart just like any other One UI install. And then you'll have One UI 6 beta on your S23. All right, so the first things I wanna talk about are gonna be the big changes. We have some huge ones, kind of literally. So the icons have increased in size here, as you can see. This is throughout the entire UI. You look at all these different UI elements here, they're much enlarged compared to One UI 5.1.1. In addition to that, if we swipe down and open up our quick toggles, let's take a look at this here. So I purposely left some notifications. So you can see right off the bat, we have the brightness slider that's now persistent. Here on the Z Fold 5, I had to go and edit my toggles and turn on the persistent brightness slider. Otherwise, it only gets shown when you swipe down twice. That's a default behavior. But now the default behavior on One UI 6 is for the brightness slider to always be there. I think it's great for new Galaxy users because now you don't have to double swipe down to get to your brightness slider. The other thing you're going to notice right off the bat is that our notifications are now grouped together. Like you'll see here, my voicemail's up top. I've got my Gmails in one section, something from the Galaxy Store. Whereas here on One UI 5, we basically have them all running along in an order, right? So it's just all one long stream of notifications. I like this new grouping, it looks pretty nice. Now if we take it one step further and we swipe further down on our notifications to open up the quick toggles menu, you can see it's been completely redesigned. In some ways it's a plus, in some ways it's a minus. The negative part about it is here with One UI 5, we could get to almost all our quick toggles, especially if we put it down to one screen. Let me do that real quick so it's more realistic. Right, right here we have everything in one-handed reach. You see like this? We're now on the S23 Ultra, the quick toggles take up everything. So you've got to reach around the whole screen. However, I really like what they've done here. Let's go ahead and take a look. So now we have our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth completely separated from the rest of the other toggles. Those are going to be two of the main things you're going to toggle on and off anyways. We have the brightness slider persisted, like I mentioned, and we also have a couple display options. We can switch between light and dark mode, and we can also turn on the eye comfort shield. We also have some home integration features here with smart things to allow you to control your home devices. It's all baked into the quick toggles now, so that's pretty awesome. Another new cool feature of One UI 6 is we have this cool now playing animation here with like this wannabe equalizer. I think it's pretty cool. It gives you a pretty good idea of where you're at in the song. We don't have that at all in One UI 5.1.1. Also new for One UI 6 are two new audio codecs. So we're getting LC3 and Opus. Another difference between One UI 6 and 5 is that the word Samsung and Galaxy has been removed from a lot of the icons. For example here, you'll see Store instead of Galaxy Store like One UI 5. And you'll see that consistently throughout the UI elements. Speaking of UI elements, there's another change between One UI 6 and 5, and that is icons no longer have two rows of text. Take a look here as I swipe through my applications. Everything just has one line of text, right? Let's go over here to the Fold 5. Look, we have two lines here, two lines here. Just go through my apps and you see plenty of them that have two lines. Also new from One UI 5 to 6 is we have some different animations when you bring apps into view. Like here, if we pull up recent apps on this one, you'll see here it just kind of loads that up. Let's open up another app so there's more than one. You see how it just kind of flings it straight to the screen? Now if we look here with multiple apps open, let's see if it does it here. See how it kind of flings it like that? Let's see it again. Boom. I don't know how I feel about it. It kind of gets weird on your eyes after a little bit, but it's definitely pretty cool at first. 
All right, also new for One UI 6, if you open up the camera app and you turn on grid lines, it's pretty sweet. We now have like this imaginary or whatever level that shows up. I'm trying to get it to show up. Hopefully it's in camera view. There it is. It'll actually show a level right in the middle of your screen to help, uh, you know, get your object level while you're taking a shot. So that's pretty sweet. I think that's been on the Pixel devices for a long time now. Also new for One UI 6 is we have some new camera options. Let's go into settings real quick on both devices. All right, here we go. You'll see here the options are kind of laid out a little bit different and we have a new option, advanced intelligence options. And if we tap on this, we now have different shooting modes for how fast it's gonna react with the shutter. Very similar to what we had in the camera assistant. This is now baked into the regular default camera application. Also new for One UI 6, if you open up your calendar application, we now have a new schedule pane here, which does not exist in One UI 5 which will chronologically list all your reminders and events that you have coming up on your calendar. We don't have that on the old version. We also have a lot of other little tweaks to many of the Samsung apps, like the gallery, the keyboard, and also My Files. Here's an example of some of the updates you can see. It's been refined up top to show some of our most recent folders. We now have big icons for some of our major actions and then the list has been a little bit more streamlined than what we have on the previous version of My Files. You'll see a lot of little updates like that throughout many of the Samsung applications. We have another cool new setting with One UI 6 for our quick toggles. If we swipe down and we hit the pencil icon up here up top, we have quick settings instant access. And if we turn this on like I have it on right now, what that allows you to do is this. You can swipe down from the top right corner and instead of open up your notifications, it'll open up your quick toggles. So if you want notifications, you'll swipe from somewhere like in the middle, like this, all right? And then to get to your quick toggles, you just swipe from the right corner. I think it's pretty sweet. I'm definitely leaving that feature on. Also new with One UI 6 is we can make further modifications to our lock screen. So let's go ahead and open that up real quick. We're gonna go to edit our lock screen, right? And if I tap on the time, before it would be like this. Let's go over here to the Fold 5. I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the time. You can't do anything with it. You can just change a little bit of the font and that's about it. Now with One UI 6, we have a lot more palette options and stuff and time options, but in addition to that, we can also move around our time and date now, finally. About darn time, that's sweet. Also new for One UI 6 is a new camera widget. Let's check it out. Let's open up widgets real quick. All right, let's go down here until we see camera. There it is. We're gonna go ahead and add it to our home screen here. Add, and it's gonna prompt you for some options. And what this widget does is it allows you to pick a default mode that you wanna open the camera app in. And the other cool thing is you can change where the photos get saved to, custom to this widget, which is separate from when your main gallery saves the images to. So this is really nice to like have a custom location with a custom shooting mode all tied into a widget. Another new cool feature of One UI 6 is intelligent airplane mode. So by default, when you enable airplane mode, it's gonna turn off your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles. Let's do that on One UI 5 real quick and you'll see that in action. There, my Wi-Fi went off, my Bluetooth went off, and if I turn airplane mode back on, it's gonna enable both of those radios again. Wi-Fi back on, Bluetooth back on. And no matter what I have these settings at, it's always gonna re-enable those. That's a default behavior. Now with smart airplane mode, it's gonna remember whatever settings you add here when you turn this off and it's gonna reapply those. Let's see this in action on the S23 Ultra real quick. So right now I have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled. I turn on airplane. It's gonna turn both those radios off, right? Now if I turn off airplane, it's gonna turn them both back on. It's taken a minute, but it's finally doing it. Now, if I go ahead and disable Bluetooth, I turn that off, and this time I turn airplane mode back on, all right, it's gonna disable my wireless, right? Just like that. And then when I turn airplane mode back off, it's going to only re-enable my Wi-Fi. So it's gonna remember whatever setting you pick last. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my Bluetooth back on. Also new for One UI 6 are new emojis. They're a little bit bigger, a little bit more colorful, a little bit different. If you're into that stuff, we've got some new emojis. So besides a bunch of other little tweaks to different apps that we'll probably cover more in upcoming videos, there is one bug that I wanna go over that may be a showstopper for you if you're considering upgrading to One UI 6 or trying out the beta. So let me just show you that in action real quick. We'll go ahead and uh, 
open up a note real quick. Let me just grab a random note. Doesn't even matter actually. So I'm just gonna start writing something here real quick. New video. Uh oh, I misspelled video. Well, I need to erase that, right? Well, you press and hold the eraser and we don't have an eraser. The eraser doesn't work. I checked all the settings. So what you have to do is do the whole little smart select thing. Highlight your area real quick and then just go ahead, you know, delete it. So that's the workaround for now until they get that fixed. So the S Pen's acting a little bit wonky, not too surprised being on a beta. But hey, if you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. I appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.